What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is Steve Rixis, and it has been quite some time. I think it's been about two months since I last recorded a video like this, and yeah, the reason why uh, you might know if you follow me on Twitter, um, in the previous episode I said I would take a little break, and so I did. New update came out, game was unplayable, really was. It, it kind of is unplayable right now. Uh, when I first started up, every time I restart my computer or shut down City Skylines, I have to go around the entire city to make sure everything is rendered in. And if I don't do that, if I go to a new area, it will lag like crazy. And it's quite annoying, uh, but I got used to it now. And uh, first of all, I want to welcome you to a look of one of the new intersections I am currently off screen working on which has been a bit hectic, it's been a bit crazy and as I notice now this power or this uh, train line is disconnected so I gotta quickly fix that uh, hopefully this works now, it's still a bit slow um, but we'll work with it uh, I don't think there's anything I can do and then we're gonna connect this up to this train line right there, it's gonna look a bit derp, but hey, we don't care, we're gonna fix this uh, once this is completed. Now, I tried to do something else, this highway, for those of you who don't know, is going to go away, I'm going to destroy this completely, up until here, as you can see, it goes nice and straight, and it goes around the city, so we have lots of space, and today is the, this is going to be the area we're gonna be working on, uh, soon this will go as well, and we're gonna free up a lot of space. Now, I think that's quite a cool intersection, we got this road going up here, and it's going to be connected with the bridge, uh, and the rest is going to go. And then there's another highway which goes underneath here, and then splits up into two, uh, into like um, an, an on-ramp, an off-ramp, and all that jazz. Um, this is a highway which goes in this direction, and will lead into this area, and this will go as it is going now. Now I still have to connect this area up here, this um, highway off and on-ramp. I still quite like this one, it's a, it's a bit complicated, but I think this will work very nicely if the area isn't too populated and too busy. Now you might see a little frame rate drop so now and then, but uh, I tried fixing it and there's nothing really I can do about that. Now there was a command which I tried making like these little turns right here. Like a less sharper uh, turn like you see in, uh, you know, in the things, in the real world. Uh, but then it creates this weird space and I've looked something up and I heard we needed control B or something which we needed to use. Yeah, you see, it still doesn't work, it, it makes a 45 degree angle turn which I don't want. I don't want that. And then I can do this, but you see how that looks? It looks bad. Uh, I, and I want to know why that is. And if you have any sort of mod that fixes that, please let me know. I would be forever thankful. Now, for this episode, we're going to work on the harbor. The new harbor. Well, the first harbor of this city. Uh, and I'm going to hurry up quite a bit now. Uh, we don't have that much time today. Um, and I've been talking for quite some time now. Now, I, I want to focus on, on, on container places right now, on the basics of the harbor, uh, which I think will be good. Uh, still not too happy about this shape right here, so I am going to change this quite a bit, or a little bit, and uh, I'm not going to touch it today, I'm going to touch it in the next episodes, er, or off screen, I'm, I'm going to work on that a bit. Now, harbor mods, nothing really has changed since the last city. Uh, we've had a couple basic things going on there, and so have we here. Um, this is a tough one. I think I want. There's going to be cranes on the on the side of these, so I cannot really make this like a container yard. Um, this is a container yard. I think we're going to have to do another one on the other side of the road. Um, but yeah, uh, I I don't quite remember how I did this in the last episode. How I created this, I do I do think I remember now. Yeah. So this is all going to be cranes in here, and then we're going to grab the road. I have downloaded new roads, um, because the other mod I was using didn't work anymore. And there's our first problem of the day. Already, that's quite fast actually, I didn't expect it to be that quick. So, just delete that, connect this up, connect this up, make this pretty, and work 
Yes, and this is broken now as well. So uh, I definitely have to redesign this area. It's still a bit bumpy there, but you know, things will be fixed soon. Uh, I have dropped the kind of concept every other City Skylines YouTuber is doing, like recording something, speeding it up, and then talking over it. Uh, I'm still doing this. I kind of like doing this, actually. Uh, the process is good. Or not the process, but I just like doing it. And uh, I think I am going to keep doing it for now. Of course, I will make speed ups, and I highly doubt that this video doesn't have one. Uh, it's probably going to have one, so that's good. Uh, this is almost perfect, but I just want to do the basics today with you people. And why is this a three wide road? I don't know, just change it. Um, but I just want to talk to you guys, you know, it's been a long time, so I need that. Uh, anyways, uh, let's just see what we have here. Uh, we got containers in the middle here, which looks kind of epic. And also my day-night mod has broken, and I cannot fix it. If you have a solution for that, please let me know in the comment section below. I would be, again, forever thankful for your help. Uh, I am, again, no, I'm, I'm going to use different ones. I think they're here. Yep, they're here. So we got end cap lot A. Uh, we're going to use end cap A here. No, end cap B is the one we're going to use. Press control A to make this nice. And we're going to use lot, uh, whatever fits best. So probably lot B. Lot B is nice. And then lot C. And then end cap A we need now. Because that fits nicely. I like that. It means we have a little terminal with some different containers than there. And uh, it's going to look epic. It's going to look like a real harbor this time. And now we're going to use uh, end cap A for this. And then that. And then end cap B to finish it all off. Which looks quite nice and beautiful. And of course we're going to detail this a bit more because it's quite empty now. But this is going to look very nice. Hopefully, once it's done. Now, there is, if I can remember it correctly, the props are in here, which I want to use. Uh, like before, nothing really has changed. I've subscribed to a couple mods and I've unsubscribed to multiple mods. Yeah, here are the cranes. We want those. So, we're going to like change the direction of these. I think that's about 90 degree on. It's perfect. That is perfect. So, I want some cranes here on this uh, harbor area, and so we will. This is going to be quite derpy here, so I think this side won't have any cranes on it, uh, just containers maybe. Uh, it's it's not really a place for your boat. We, can, might, we might be able to put a uh, navy ship there or something. So here we go. Or we can, of course, we need shift P for that. I'm gonna put this over the road. That might even look better. So you and your car will drive underneath the crane. I like that idea. I don't know how big a ship is in this in this game. I really don't. So it's kind of trial and error here to fix this. To make this nice. Also, more news. GTA 5 has had a new update. I think this was called the Import Export DLC. Uh, it looks quite cool actually, to be fairly honest with you. I kind of liked it. Uh, I haven't been able to play it yet. I haven't had a time. Uh, I wanted to play it today, but we had a slight change of plans. I was go I, I went to the casino and then we went to play this game. Or I went to play this game and record for you guys. So that's what my day is looking like. Nothing really special. Uh, I think there's enough red cranes on this side. Um, might do another, uh, a couple more there. What's this yellow one? Can we use this? No. It's wrong side. This is wrong side as well. What's this? This this I also like. And this one is for... Uh, I believe this is used in a train yard or something. A rail yard. Uh, anyways... Uh, these cranes, uh, I think we can use these on the, the, like the inside. We can use them right here. Now, again, the commentary is a bit derpy. And I hopefully, let's see, where are we going to place these? Uh, 
These are just gonna be random because they can move along. I think the other ones can too, so. About where do you think? About here, maybe? Like this? That looks nice. My phone is going off. Uh, yeah, don't care. So we got that going. I think that will work. Now we're also gonna need some sort of a train uh, which stops here. So we might need some sort of a station, like say a cargo station for trains. And I think we have one custom one, if I'm sure. Now we got a couple custom ones. I remember now. It's been a long time since I played this game. And this one is working. So let's see on what side we can put this best. Uh, we might do a cargo station on this side. And then just have a train which goes there. I think that's a good idea. Let's see. And then grab the rails and just make this look nice and ready for detailing. Because probably what we're going to do next episode is detailing. So the train just goes here. Epic, epic. And then stops before it hits the road. And I did that all wrong because freight trains in Maraca and the Netherlands don't use an overhead cable. They run on diesel. Like so. So we don't need an overhead cable, which looks better. And we're gonna need some cranes to unload these uh, trains. I think we're gonna use the red ones we have here. Or the yellow ones if I have a mod for that, like a prop. Um, but this will work. This trains can stop here and then they can unload containers. We're gonna detail that in the next episode, but for now we're just gonna lay out the basics. Like the basic shapes, uh, because I think that's necessary. Then on this side, we're gonna have a couple red cranes as well. We need those. This is like where the, the larger ships lay down. Ships don't lay down, but I don't know what to call it. Like that, all right. Oh, that's, that's a nice trick. Like on every second lamppost, we're gonna put one. Like uh, that. Or are these too close to each other? I, no, they're not. I think they're perfect. And like that. And then again here. That's a lot of cranes, but it doesn't matter. We're professionals, we can do this. And I'm also quite hungry. This is this is really focus on where to put those. Now it's kinda uh, it's a shame that we don't have these in different colors, like we have them in yellow or, or blue, which kinda looks cool, I think, if we have these in blue. Now this is of course a fly route for airplanes. Which is, that was the mic, you could hear that very loudly, I think, so, <laughs> damn it. Um, but the airport is going to change, and the runways are probably going to be on this side, so it uh, doesn't really matter anymore. We can do whatever we want in here, which is good, it's a good thing. And now I am going to the parks th uh, thing, because we have a little mod, which looks nice, on the side of a harbor. And there we go, somewhere around here, it must be. It's a cargo train. I don't know. I have never used these, actually. I don't know what they look like. Ah, oh, these are just a bit detailed. Now, we can do that ourselves. I think that's fun to do ourselves. Now, these, I do like these. And I do want to use them, actually. So, right, that's the wrong side. Um, let me see. Where are we now? Can we put those in here? And again on this side. So we can have a couple smaller ships which like dock here or something. Uh, this is, is for smaller ships. We have the, the large Mursk, I think they're called. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Uh, but they're somewhere here. I hope, oh, yeah, these, these large ships, we're gonna place those here. I hope to find some more ship props uh, soon. Now I have, uh, no, pr they're not here now today, of course, but I do have like the interactive ones which sail around. 
and have quite some cool cruise ships and I would like a little cruise ship harbor I think that will look quite cool to be very honest um, but let's focus on what now yeah this I'm, I'm not quite happy about this here that there's no it's not gonna be a ship there but probably we're gonna put like the military ships here or something uh, we'll see that in the future uh, we might oh, we're gonna need another train line here that can be quite useful to be very honest and then probably about where is it oh no trains trains and then this and that's about correct yeah that will work no I want this OCD perfect so I'm going to press ctrl T and then we're going to use the railroad which goes there destroy this because we don't need two stations like on the same pier technically technically not the same pier the pier one pier B or something uh, but I don't want a station here as well so I, then again it might be quite useful actually so let's do a station here it might be quite useful as I said and it's getting dark out it, I hate it that I don't have the mod which I used to have that's just the, the thing I don't like about one city skylines updates I really hate it that I always lose one or two mods you know and then yeah it's it's bad it sucks but there's nothing you can do about it now we're having a little bit of trouble here because this is a corner and this is like an entrance so not good I'm going to have to fix this real quick um, let's see how much tiles this is this is 18 so what's 18 is 9 let's do 9 maybe now if I'm correct that's 9 but a train won't be able to make that turn so this is terrible not good news uh, I'm going to have to fix this area real quick and that will be fun to do on camera you guys get to decide what we do not really but we need a little space here so I'm going to go with 12 12 will be good I think 12 will work nicely like that and then let's say we're going to use 26 it's nice and again 12 go down now it was just a little pier I think this is all we need then go again with 12 and then like this and then don't finish it off because we might be changing that and then do this this is a little trick like that we have a new dock for the ships and I think this looks quite cool like having this back to back that will work nicely nicely um, this can go as well there we go that works uh, we're gonna have a road which crosses and then the real road we can do that now we have plenty of time and uh, let's go with a curve and then 10 let's say 9 by 9 that's not where is 9 9 is this one no. just follow the it's so difficult sometimes this game it will literally never work and then that's 8 of course it is I, sometimes I really do hate this game and I am very honest when I say that I'm really honest I think that, that that might be good might finally work 9 by 9 thank you game for supporting me in this uh, difficult manner and it's that's true oh my god now it works all right so we now have that going nice not perfect but we don't care doesn't matter um let's go for a nine by nine again something like this so I wasn't able to fit some cranes in here with these there um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these 
and then we're gonna just go ahead and put some um, blue grains down because we don't have many of these yet and we need those because they are happy and they're blue like one two and three all right uh, I think ships will be happy um, that's good we got the basics done on this side uh, let's get some power lines going here so we can get some or we can see something actually because it's quite tough being all alone in the dark here I uh, like so and they also need water probably so we're just gonna make this OCD happen like this get some water there there and then there uh, and we also need the other side as well look at all these planes landing here it's a busy busy day at the airport I want this perfect beautiful I think that will work right there we go so I'll just connect these up beautiful I think now we will get some lights yeah there we go and it all looks quite yellow which I think looks good from the air I like it like um, the only thing we need done is now these a bit of detailing happening here uh, some trucks some containers which we'll all do in a speed up in the next episode of course um, I think I'm going to like that now we're also gonna need a couple highway connections going into this area still not quite sure how I'm going to fix that um, probably this highway right here which goes here uh, will lead into this side and then this will have an exit on here which will get directly into the um, the harbor or we're gonna have a skyway maybe it's just it's a bit of a fix uh, if we're gonna do a skyway we're gonna do uh, an exit on this highway here even though I want this to really have a good flow uh, we're gonna need a couple exits and on ramps on here to get to the city and into the city and out of the city I mean still not sure about this bridge still not sure if I'm gonna keep it I'm probably gonna change the bridge here um, but let's get back to project the project we're working on um, the harbor project now we're also gonna need a larger container yard which I think will be on the other side but then again transport will be kinda screwing around there even though I'm just thinking in a realistic point of view not in uh, how the game handles this kind of stuff uh, I'm not gonna touch this area until um, off screen I'm going to work on that just a little bit also not going to do some walls here yet we're gonna all do that in the next episode this is just the basic layout of this part of the harbor which is quite important actually and I don't think you fancy watching the entire uh, harbor being built that's just a little bit of off-screen process and a bit of on-screen and a bit of fast uh, forward processing um, airport I don't know when we're gonna focus on that I really don't I have, I have no clue when uh, when I'm really feeling that I want to do an airport Harbor, I felt like doing a harbor. Um, you know. It's just not, not that straight again. But don't doesn't matter. Um, yeah, this road probably will be a bit changed in the next episode. Now this, I quite like this area. This is quite cool. We also need some sort of a, like the sand uh, harbor and stuff. I don't know if I have that installed. I don't know what to do in here. So let's just make a, the basics of and real yard where we can have a couple trains at least damn it get these power lines out of here I want everything to be just perfect and then stop there because this city I still want this to look nice in the end We don't need curves there? Okay, not my problem. It's a good real yard, right? We can park some trains there. Uh, that will work. Um, for this, maybe a couple uh, garbage incineration plants or something, like a little industry uh, on the side here. Or more containers. I, I, I don't know, probably more containers. We're gonna have garbage uh, somewhere here. Uh, for this area this is uh, done with prop anarchy or 
road anarchy they do that yep so now that's fixed beautiful uh we got some power uh next episode what i want to do is i want to just fix the sides and uh, get this all nicely perfected up and then we're going to do some detail work and in some speed ups and just we're just gonna make this area look nicely we're gonna look, make it look nicely or nice. We're just gonna make it look nice. Now there's a ton of projects I wanna focus on. Uh, sadly, I don't have time for all of them. Um, so that's a bit and a bit of trouble. Um, for a quick re recap of what's going to stay. This will stay, this complete area right here will all stay. This will change a little bit and this also, but that will only be more pretty. Um, this area will stay. Uh, it will change a little bit, probably with some houses and then these real road things uh going there they will change also a little bit we got the uh the train yard under here like the, the old trains like that um this side of the city look at the lag you know that's what i'm talking about this side of the city will be changed um i don't know into what but probably like high rises like we have here in this part of the city right now we're gonna have a nice large shopping mall which extends over outside with a shopping street and all makes look very nice this this downtown speaks for itself. Uh, it's gonna be skyscrapers and, and other buildings. Still not quite finished, um, but it's getting there. We got some tunnels going into the, the main city. We got one here, we got one there. And this one exits here, and this one I think goes underneath and then there, and then enters somewhere here. There it is. Um, this is still not in use. It was in use before, but I think once we get this connected up, we are, uh, we're in good, good business. I like these intersections, I really do. I'm, I've been working on a bit of uh, road design, as you can say. I've been trying to make it look as nicely as possible. This area probably will change a little bit with a main station here, and then we'll see what happens next. Uh, I don't really know. I don't even know how long this series is going to uh, be going on. Uh, this is still going on nicely. I like this. I don't know what's happening here. It's a Hamilton residence or something. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode as always. Uh, if you did enjoy it, then uh, please leave a like. It would be highly appreciated. Um, we focus on this. I like it. It, uh, it, it The start is there. And uh, yeah, we're next episode. We're going to just expand this area and make it look like a harbor. And it's pretty as possible. Uh, half an hour episode. Good episode. Time for me. I hope you enjoyed. Take care, guys. You're awesome. Bye-bye. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.